Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the Ford Mustang Mach-E. This SUV blends iconic muscle car heritage with cutting edge EV technology. Sales have been slipping recently for this EV though. However, in light of numerous dealer incentives, this may be the one to keep on the shopping list. Let's dig in, bolt by bolt. I'm a huge fan of EVs that look to blend iconic design with forward-thinking technology. The Ford Mustang Mach-E was introduced for the 2021 model year to much fanfare and shock. Pretty quickly, the vehicle alienated muscle car fans for its use of the Mustang name, but welcomed numerous other buyers attracted by the fastback SUV design. Regardless, this EV intended just what Ford hoped to stir up a conversation about the future of its electrified brand. The design is unmistakably Mustang with the sleek fastback silhouette, the signature tri-bar headlights, and the pony badge proudly displayed. The Mach-E further leans into its iconic muscle car heritage by incorporating the iconic Mustang sequential rear turn signals, but don't be fooled by its sporty looks. This is an SUV with ample cargo space and five-door practicality. There's a variety of trims to choose from, from the long-range California Route 1 to the head-turning GT with its aggressive stance and aerodynamic features. Unlike other EV automakers, Ford has introduced numerous special editions of the Mach-E akin to traditional automaker practices over the years. They've introduced the stunning Ice White and Night Pony packages and the Mach-E Rally concept. Mustang or not, this car turns heads down the road. Before we step inside, if you're new here and liking the video so far, please give this video a thumbs up below and hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Stepping inside, the Mach-E impresses even further. It's spacious, comfortable, and packed with tech. The premium materials throughout exude quality throughout the five-person cabin. The large portrait 5.5-inch touchscreen dominates the central console, controlling everything from infotainment to climate. The Mach-E also features available Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and unlike the most popular EVs in the segment, the Mach-E also includes a digital instrument cluster, keeping you informed and undistracted while driving. At highway speeds, the Mach-E hums along the highway at a mere 66 decibels. That means you can enjoy the music coming from the 10-speaker B&O sound system. Now we're sure passengers in the back will pass the time stargazing out of the Mach-E's massive panoramic roof. But the real star of the show is the space. The Mach-E, depending on the trim, has an average length of 185 inches. This allowed designers to pack the SUV with plenty of cargo room for those long trips. Similar to other EVs, the Mach-E features a front trunk capable of hauling 4.7 cubic feet of cargo. There is also an additional 29 cubic feet of space behind the second row, or up to 56.9 cubic feet of space with the second row folded down. This is comparable to other EVs in the segment, but still impressive considering even three row electric SUVs like the new Kia EV9 only manage 81.7 cubic feet of cargo space with the rear seats folded. The Mach-E is great for families on the go, but how fast can you make it to your destination? The Ford Mustang Mach-E has a drag coefficient of 0.28. That's better than the Rivian R1T, but equaling that of the Kia EV9. The Mustang Mach-E comes in four different trims, Select, Premium, California, Route 1, and GT. All of these different models come with three drive modes, including Engage, Whisper, or Unbridled. Ford terms for Eco, Normal, and Sport. Opt for the top of the line GT trim and you will receive up to 459 horsepower capable of launching you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in the mid 3 second range. However, if you're looking to maximize range, you're going to want to opt for either the California Route 1 or Premium trim with the extended range battery. Both models have an estimated range of up to 300 miles on a charge. Drivers also receive Ford's Copilot 360 with an optional Ford Copilot 360 Assist 2.0. As we mentioned earlier, the Mach-E comes at four different trim levels, Select, Premium, California Route 1, and GT. Now, Select will only cost starting price of $42,995, while the GT will run you up to $59,995. Now, if you're looking for range, either the premium or the California Route 1 editions will be the best bets. However, if you're looking for maximum speed, you're going to want to go for the GT model. Our top pick is the premium edition at 46,995, offering 300 miles of range on the 98.8 kilowatt hour battery pack. So what do you think about the Mustang Mach-E? Do you think it does enough to stand out against the growing electric SUV market? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Interested in learning more about EVs? We'll think you like the video on the Rivian R1T and R1S next.